everyone, I'm John here with your two minute tour around the Gowan South building on the roof actually. And I'm here with Kim. Hi Kim. Hey John. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. So tell us about this uh, building we're in. We are in the McGowan South Greenhouse. This is actually our teaching house. Uh, mostly students come up here to do things for class. Uh, sometimes they experiment with different propagation methods and then they use this for the Urban Farming Organization. Great, can you show us a couple of plants? We'd love to. We'll start with the Urban Farming Organization table. This is where they start all of their seeds that will eventually make it to the DePaul Urban Garden. They will start around February or March growing things for the spring crop, but what you're looking at is the fall crop that we've started, uh, again, from seed up here, and then we'll transplant things when the time comes. And we'll be selling these at the farm stands in September and October. We have a lot of cool weather plants, like amaranth, uh, a dark grain that gets pretty tall. Uh, we've got a lot of cabbage and kale, and then uh, just a mixture of native wildflowers to attract pollinators. Great, that's amazing. Uh, we have some cool plants over there. Can you give, give me a look? Absolutely. This is our fun table. Uh, students kind of get real loose over here. It's everything from rescued trees. We call this our sick bay, uh, where we just try to figure out what these plants need. And then it's just a lot of fun varieties, mostly edibles, uh, some ornamentals, lots of basil. That's a very popular. Everyone loves to smell this table. We've got at least 10 varieties of basil, lots of parsley, and cilantro, and sage, thyme, you name it, we've got it. And then we've got just some, I'll loosely call them experiments. We tried to grow quinoa, very trendy grain right now. Uh, as you can see, it's, this is a colored variety. And we've learned a lot about the family that this plant is in because we've learned it's closely related to a very common weed called lamb's quarters, which we spend a lot of money killing. This one we grow, the other one we kill. Interesting. It is kind of interesting. And then here we have a demonstration plant that we just couldn't resist growing. You'll see that when I touch the leaves, it actually folds up and reacts, called mimosa or touch me not. We think that it does that to maybe fend off predators who might land on it or help it collect rain. Well, you guys have some amazing stuff, but I know yeah. that there's something else we need to check out outside. Yes. Okay, let's go take let's a look. Let's go do it. Wow, Kim, it's beautiful up here. What kind of flowers are these? You're looking at yellow coneflowers, a native species to the Illinois prairie. Part of a few species that were planted originally to help the building save energy uh, and water use. And what exactly do the students do up here? In a couple weeks, they'll start cutting off these seed heads that you're looking at to save and just learn seed saving techniques. They've also done a couple of experiments with season extension using cold frames and a biodiesel garden where we grew corn and switchgrass to see what kind of ethanol production we could get out of the space. Most of all, I would say the students come up here just to enjoy the view. Oh yeah, you can't beat this view. Well, I'm John and that's your two minute tour.